God bless you. Uh, on this particular meditation, uh, wherever you may be, I'm sharing with you. I wanted to talk to you about lost connections and lost relationships because so many, uh, there are so many times that our mental territory is threatening, is threatened by the advent of a loss of a trusted friend, a trusted relationship. Uh, we, we have so many pondering questions about how we lost this connection, how this particular hookup has moved from our lives, uh, how are we seeing certain things in our life concerning people that started out on the journey with us and why aren't they on the journey now. But this word is for lost connections and lost relationships. It's a word to bless your life. Uh, the Lord led me to write, one of the most underrated pains in one's life is the loss of a relationship or connection. It can be exceptionally painful to see one that you once shared your highs and lows with start to become distant and removed from your life. It can also be alarming to look up and see that one has lost connections, lost hookups, and lost relationships. Many of us denote so much of our own personal value from the relationships that we have. So when the day arrives, when we start to behold the erosion of associates, friends, and important connections, is it a wonder that our sense of calm would be challenged? Look folks, many folks that start out on the journey with you uh, will not make it for your whole life. You're going to see people that started out on the road with you, people that went to school with you, people that played on a certain football team with you, people that were in a high school club or, or a college fraternity with you, uh, people that started out and you preached your first sermon together, yet after a couple of seasons or a couple of tough seasons in life, you look up and they're nowhere to be found. You can, you know, it, it, it messes with your nettle. It'll, it'll test your intestinal fortitude because everyone wants to be liked. Everyone wants to be esteemed. Everybody wants to have a cadre of supporters. Uh, but, but in the things of God, you're going to go through many seasons and many tough places. And even in life itself, you're going to go through some tough places where you're going to have to walk through some seasons alone. Some people were sent into your life for a specific purpose, for a specific season. Doesn't mean that you're a bad person, doesn't mean that they are, but your season has ran its course, the test of time. But when you look up, and you look up and you see that you've lost some connections, and you've lost some relationships, before you push the panic button, first of all, do a season of self-examination, but there are some times when some things that come with being a believer in Jesus Christ, if you choose to choose the road that's less traveled, uh, if you choose to hold up the banner, uh, the bloodstained banner of Jesus Christ, if you choose to adhere to the tenets of holiness, don't be surprised when people come and go in your life. Uh, you know, you uh, say simply here, we celebrate it as a scripture, but it's also a truth uh, that we need to take heed of that it would probably kind of start slimming uh, the number of friends that we have. Second Corinthians 5 and 17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. What we never consider is that some of your friends were established when you were the old you. They're in love with the old you. Their kinship is with the old you. <laughs> when transformation comes and the new you has been, that's a brand new person. Some of them have no relationship, no fellowship, no connection, and they don't want the new you. They want the old you that they met when you all were clubbing, drugging, or, or whatever else you were doing. Sometimes when you become the new you, they don't have any, any appreciation for the new you. So the transformation uh, that, that comes when you become a new creation when you knew some are still in love with the old. You, you, you know, we got to be mature. Um, there's verse 29, uh, Mark 10, 29 through 31, says this, Truly I tell you, that what well, well, verse uh, has to, let's go Mark 10, 28 through 31. It says, Then Peter spoke, spoke up, We have left everything to follow you. Uh, Truly I tell you, Jesus said in verse 29, 
No one has left home or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or fields for me and the gospel will, will fail to receive a hundred times as much in this present age, homes, brothers, sisters, mothers, children, and fields, along with persecutions. Persecutions are not going to disappear, but God has also promised some blessings that you, uh, you know, for some of your lost connections and your lost relationships because of your stand and stands for him on this side of glory and in the age to come eternal life. It says here in verse 31, but many who are first will be last and the last first. Look, folks, you're going to go through some times in life where when you love God so much that you keep his commandments, there's some that are around you are not going to like that. They're going to want to extricate themselves from you. They're going to want to dismiss you. They're going to want to move on from, from you. But there is calm. No, don't, don't lose your wits. Uh, the, the Bible says in Psalm 68 and 7, it says that he setteth the solitary in families. Or in the New Living Translation, it says he God places the lonely in families. He said, look, folks, you're not going to go through your life. Everybody's not going to ride with you uh, uh, through every portion of your life. It's easy for them to follow you to the sunlit summit of the mountaintop, but very few will stay the stay and stay stay with you and stand with you through the tough times that you're going to experience in the valleys of your life. But don't lose wits when you lose connection. Don't lose wit when you uh, uh, lose relationships. Look, even here. This is what Jesus said, uh, making the decision uh, for him in uh, Matthew 10, 32 through uh, uh, 30, 38. It says here, Whosoever therefore confess shall confess me before men, him will I also confess before my Father which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him also will I deny before my Father which is in heaven. Verse 34, think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. For I come to set a man at variance. Variance means against, uh, um, you know, set a man at variance. A man at take sides to, and direct opposition uh, to, um, you know, take up a, the battle arms on a different side to wage war against. I came to set a man at variance against his father and a daughter against her, his, her mother and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law and a man's foes shall be they of his own household. Look, folks, sometimes you don't have, you know, you're looking for that distant enemy, but according to Scripture, sometimes you won't have to look very far. It says here in verse uh, Matthew 10, 37, it says, He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son and daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he that taketh not his cross and falleth after me is not worthy of me. He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loveth his life loses his life for my sake, shall find it. Look, folks, uh, you know, you're going to lose some relationships. You're going to lose some trusted connections. But that comes with the territory. You're walking, you know, you're walking in the world, and you're following a man that, that the world hated so much that it put up, it did nothing wrong. He did nothing wrong, and he, he ended up on the cross. So they won't love you. That's why Jesus said, uh, Blessed are ye when men shall revile you, persecute you, and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my name's sake. He said you're empowered to prosper. You're walking in your calling. Look, look folks, when they lie on you, when they test the lie on you, when they spread a rumor, when you start hearing he say, they say, uh, I heard, and, and all those things, you're walking in your calling. This comes with the territory. In 1 John, I'll conclude here, 1 John 2, 15, it said, Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them. Wow, that's a, that's a gut punch. For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life comes not from the Father, but from the world. Verse 17, the world and its desires pass away, but whosoever does the will of God lives forever. 
Look, folks, we, you know, we have this passionate thing with the world. Where, you know, when there's so many passages of Scripture and the old tenets of holiness used to be popular, such as come out from among them and be separate. You know, we used to say that we, that we want to live the holy lifestyle, the set-apart lifestyle. And we wanted to adhere to holiness, which, which it's, it's a way of life. Holiness is still right. And look, folks, there should be a difference. You, you know, we're called, we're in the world, but we're called to not be of it. Look, don't go crazy when you start seeing your, uh, you know, you know. now we get alarmed when social me our social media friends go down. Look, your stand and stance for Christ won't, have, won't allow everyone to follow you through life. It, it's going to make you lose some connections. You're going to lose some friends. But when there's a heaven to win, a Christ to win and a hell to, to shun, what's your choice going to be? In 1 John um, uh, 2, it says this. Well, well, we'll skip that one. But stop going crazy over your lost relationships, your, your lost connections, your lost hookup, who doesn't call you anymore. Many times, where you are in life, where you're still stuck, is because too many people are calling. Too many of the wrong people are calling. You've lost a relationship. You lost a hookup. It's exceptionally painful. You once shared your highs and lows, but that was for a season. Maybe God knows that he's got another level he's taking you through that the past friends can't enjoy. You're going to have to move on. You're going to have to look up and move on. Pass your lost hookups. Pass your lost relationship. Pass your lost connection. God's got the right people coming your way. God be for you. He's more than a whole world against you. Stop spending so much time crying over those hookups and relationships that you lost. God's got awesome things in store and better people.